don't you like the up tempo offense? I really like. Oh, I loved it. I mean, I love it. Period. Right. What, did, what do you like about it? Or what do you love about it? Right? I mean, it's just fun. Uh, it's just it's been such a learning process, and then just to be able to go out and with, with your friends and then just have fun. Um, it's awesome. I mean, that's why we started playing football. Uh, and you, you're not really thinking when you put the work in, like our offense did. Right. Um, and then you're having fun when you're out there, and it makes it so much more enjoyable. How much fun was the flea flicker, and how did that kind of develop? Oh, that worked really well. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> we weren't sure if we were going to get to that in the in the scrimmage, but it was a lot of fun. Right. And Hurts was wide open. <laughs> when you learn a new offense. And with different plays and ways to communicate without a huddle. Just how complicated of a process is that, and has it been these last four weeks for you guys? It depends on your perspective, for sure. But it's all about efficiency, and I think just the efficiency in the offense is unbelievable. And uh, it's a pleasure to be a part of and to be able to learn. I mean, it's by no means like easy to learn, but. It's, it's challenging and then very rewarding when you put the work in and then you understand things. Like the way I'm thinking, I'm thinking about all the things that I did wrong. Um, so I'm thinking about going back and watching film and correcting those. But it's definitely encouraging to see productive plays and see a lot of points being scored um, <clears throat> and seeing the defense tired. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good feeling. And then just everybody smiling on the offense. When you look at this team, both sides of the ball even, are you guys where you had hoped to be four weeks ago? Did you accomplish what you set out to accomplish in spring practice, do you feel like? We definitely made some strides. Uh, there, there are a lot of areas where, where we need to get better, a ton of areas where I need to get better. But as far as getting better each day, there were a couple days in there where we might not have, have gotten better. But I think collectively, we got a lot better as an offense this spring. Um, so, And it's good to go out on a, on a good note. I thought we had a a pretty good day offensively. The offense always says they love the up-tempo because they see the defense gas. Yeah. Why does it work that way that the offense kind of feeds off that, but it, it just kind of just demoralizes the defense? Yeah. I mean, when you have like a, a really good defense like us, like you need every advantage you can get. So we're speeding it up, and we can see that we're wearing down on them. So it just gives us stuff to feed off of. And, yeah. You guys you guys aren't back together, basically, with the coaches till July. What do you take from a day like this, and how important is it to kind of build off what you've learned? in the spring practices? Um, well, I know personally like a lot of things that I need to get better at, and I still didn't convert one of my goal lines. So I'm going to be thinking about that in the summer and just trying to get better and better. What was it, you were, the part you were frustrated about you um, just mentioned? On the one goal line that I get, didn't get, that's really what I'm going to think about oh, going okay. forward. Like, not the ones I did when I didn't. <laughs> so. Overall, though, a good night. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Uh, my old line definitely gave me like clear holes. So I mean, I just took what they gave me. Fresh a year ago, right? Yes, sir. It's a feel that finally you be getting the ball. Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. I missed it. And I really haven't played like an atmosphere with people like since high school. So I mean, it's exciting. Are, are you personally kind of where you at versus where you hoped to be four weeks ago and, and the team as a whole? Did you guys accomplish as much as you had hoped to when you started practice a month ago? Um, I think that we made a lot of progress, but I still think we all see like the ultimate goal, and I don't think we're there yet. I think we really need the summer to get in better condition, but um, especially me personally, but we're going to get there. How do you view the running back position as a whole? There's a really experienced guy coming back. There's a really experienced transfer coming in. There's obviously other people looking to carry the ball as well. Well, I mean, it's nice to have our kill to lean on as far as having a senior. Mm -hmm. And then we're getting another senior who played in the uh, SEC, I believe. Right. So, I mean, it's nice to have them to lean on for that experience and then just follow their lead. How do you guys go about helping each other but also understanding like you want the ball as much as possible? Oh, we're brothers. I mean, anybody's having success, we're happy for them. We're always, you know, cheering on another teammate. I love my, my running backs. Last year in practice, we watched you, both of you were making a lot of plays. You know, you knew you weren't going to play. How do you approach last year, even though you, you knew you weren't, weren't going to be on the field? Oh, I needed last year. I was not. I, I Like, looking back at it, I realized that I was not ready to play. Like, at the moment, you know, you're, you're sad because, you know, I'm in high school and I'm in demand, but now I got to sit, sit and take the back seat. But looking back at it, I definitely needed it. And I'm, I'm glad because I got better and I still can get a lot better. In what way are you a better back now? 
Um, I'm I'm more coachable now. I mean, I don't just do my thing. I listen to my coach, and I when I get on the field, I continue to listen to him. Um, I'm in better condition because of the up tempo. That's definitely helped me. And I'm gonna continue to do those things over time. Absolutely, yeah, definitely. Talk about um, tonight. How much uh, was there a little bit of trash talk between the offense and defense out there? A little bit. Of course. And when is it never trash talk? When is it never? You know. How important is that though? Even though it is, it is friendly and you guys all shake hands afterwards, but just to kind of, it is just a scrimmage, but it's in the squad. But to make sure that it is a competitive and how important is that? Oh, that's very important. You know, uh, you know, just even the first play in the game, you know, uh, the O line and the D line were talking trash. You know, so we just like, you know, getting at it. But um, it's part of it. It's part of the game. You know, it's the nature of the beast. You know, it's competitive. You know, even even days where you don't want to go, naturally you just have to go and be competitive. So, um, and that's a very big upside. You know, uh, with our team. So, and uh, yeah. Right. Obviously, you guys won't see this. You'll see this offense once in a while. But how good is it to go against an offense that's as fast as this to get you guys more in shape quicker? Well, our offense is growing. You know, the defense is growing. As a team, we're growing. So uh, every every snap we take, you know, it's it's a challenge. Every snap we take, and we have to look to push past those challenges and, and overcome it. You know, so uh, I'd say it's all a growing process. And, you know, we're all, we're all bought into it. Would you say the defense accomplished? what you hoped it would have four weeks ago when you started this spring project, so to speak? Well, are you guys at, are you at where you had hoped to be? Well, you always have accomplishments and goals, but you know, if you're looking to be as great as you want to be, you can never accomplish those because you're always looking to get better somehow. So most I can say now is we have to hit the film like every every team in the country does and see where we have to work on. So, yeah. What's most important for you guys in your development now that you won't be spending so much time with coaches? A lot, a lot is on you guys now to kind of carry May, June, and July. And uh, I mean, like like I like I like I say all the time, we're all bought in. We're all we're all gonna really make sure we stay focused. You know, you know, make sure we train hard. You know, live right. You know, be right. Do the right things. And um, you know, we feel that. With hard work, you know, things will things will go our way. Good to be back out there at the rent. You know, yeah, it felt while. great. The fans were great. I love yeah. the oh man, I love the fans and I hope they keep coming out, supporting us. Bring you know, some others. You know, bring bring some more people because yeah, this this wouldn't be anything without the fans. This would not be anything without the fans. The fans supporting us. You know, they've been through a lot with us, you know, and I hope I hope they could just continue to see us out through it because good things are gonna come. Good things gonna come. I feel great about it. I feel strongly about it. You know, so fans, stick with us. Stick with us. We, we gonna do it. You, know, so. <laughs> you guys feel loose, like very comfortable mm -hmm. at this point. Did you expect to play this well? It seemed like it was a very well played all around game. Well, all I can say to it, that, it just didn't seem like it was a first time out under the lights under you. Ah, I mean. All I can say is that we just we all we all said it we would go out compete and have fun, you know. So I guess having a relaxed mindset, you know, even though you want to be competitive, is, is what helps. You know, what I'm saying going out there not being so tensed up, but you know, relaxed. You know, I'm good. I'm confident. I can do this and I can go. And I feel like that's a very good trait that uh, we, we've acquired. How do you think the the line as a whole played tonight? I'm sorry. How do you think the defensive line played as a whole? <clears throat> well. I feel like I feel like we did well, but you know, there's always things you have to work on. So, which is why the film room is very important. So, once we're done here, you know, we'll go back and hit the film room and see what we needed to work on.